you're welcome to join us if you feel so inclined but if you don't I really don't give a damn but if you want to learn something and get better make your life better be better be stronger faster uh, fitter more well endowed you probably ought to check this out that's all I'm saying I'm here to meet David Henry talk about sales with Ronnie this is Ronnie everybody he's a good man just uh, very political in the political scene they probably can't hear you, but that's cool. He's a little soft-spoken, but uh, I'm his confidence coach because I need the money. I've been about $7,200 in debt at the time, and he had just got an inheritance check. Don't worry about all that, Ronnie. It's uh, details for uh, the media. But uh, look, I'm ready to do this thing, so let's bounce. Shark exhibit at SeaWorld. A bunch of sail sharks up in here. Watch your ass, Ronnie. <laughs> Listen, uh, David Henry and I go way back. Um, met him back in uh, Wiley, Texas. We were uh, noodling for catfish before it was cool. Uh, and I've never found anything sexual about noodling for catfish, but I don't judge him. Um, we were actually going after this big 19 pounder underwater and uh, we both had it and came up and it was like instant friendship. Both about up to the forearm with this big ass catfish. <laughs> I met him then and uh, we continued to roll together that summer. We bumped into Ronnie at a Mr. M playing Galaga. <laughs> Everybody knew his initials because he always had like the top eight scores but I never met him. It was truly magnificent and legendary. <laughs> And so I said, uh, listen, the three of us are like the A-team. We just need a black guy with a mohawk, and we can do this. <laughs> and basically what happened was we got together. Uh, basically, David's parents, they had this white kidnapper-looking van. They could turn it into an ice cream truck, or you could do something. So what happened was we decided we were going to start selling non-designer cologne and use stereo speakers on the back of this white van. Pull into a gas station and be like, hey man, you need some speakers? And if I could brag on my man Ronnie, ain't nobody clothes women better than Ronnie. <laughs> Listen, radio, ads, speakers, whatever the hell you're selling, non-designer cologne, which we still have at a very affordable price, it does not matter, folks. This is a trying time for our economy. So we're coming in here and, and you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, these guys didn't do a bad job of being consultants, but it's time for a coaching change. Y'all weren't responding. Very much like when uh, Jerry ran Jimmy out of Valley Ranch. So we're going to come in here and probably get fired pretty quickly. We realize that. I'm going to kick it back to you, David. Do you have time for maybe one or two questions? Uh, no, but... Uh, you are paying me $75 to be here, so I probably should go ahead and... Ooh, anybody have a question? You were talking about car dealerships. I keep walking into this Toyota dealership, and they won't see me. What should I do? I found that uh, the way, and I learned this from Burke King at Texas Toyota Grapevine. If you want to get a GM's attention at a Toyota dealership, you got to kick him in the balls. <laughs> um, Jerry's really not leaving. I want to introduce the new midday show for Live 105.3, Ben and Skin. This is the, uh, when I take this wig off and still have the facial hair on and the earring, it really does something for my wife. This is Eric. Hey, What's up, man? How's it going? Nice to, you, nice to meet you, man. How you doing, man? Nice How's to meet you. How you got? I heard he has kicked ass in the uh, sales meeting this morning. That's what uh, that's what I did. I don't know about <laughs> yeah, so much. I don't know what blog you read, but it bombed. <laughs> <laughs> you need to staff the sales blogs. It's yeah, all it's going to yeah, do is be bad for uh, morale. You know, they hype yeah. things up and yeah. salesy. Um, listen, you've got three minutes to impress us or you're out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, Whoa! No, 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 no. I like it. You're in. You're in. Congratulations. We're, we're excited about working with you. Took your old I mean, Happy to announce that our new midday show, um, you can read their column in quick, a couple times a week. And uh, they were just named best columnists uh, by D Magazine in Dallas. 
and uh, they've been on the radio for uh, seven years, and now happen to ha- happy to have them with the Live 105.3 family, Ben and Skin. Hey! hey! Not yeah. sure why Mondo picked uh, this you know, is your uh, intro music, but yeah. oh, it's perfect. I why like not? It. Hello, Ben. Hello, Skin. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, and, guys. and lady. I hate that they had to take her off mic. Oh, uh, who, Jasmine? No, no, like no, no, no. You'll learn okay. to appreciate these moments. Okay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you guys don't start today, so you're just kind of coming in, making the rounds, and then well, you'll start. We're kind of big time, mm-hmm, and uh, mm-hmm. we want to come down in here and lay down the law and let people know how we expect this to go down. Right. Uh, oh, right on. We're not going to talk to sales. We don't want anyone from sales talking to us. Or we're looking not, at us in the eye. Or anyone from management having anything to do with us. Right. Uh, we're just going to come down, and we're not going to talk to other shows, and we're going to do our thing and be ourselves. This will be the last time you guys go face-to-face with us. Yeah, so um, if you have any questions you fit right in <laughs> right <there. laughs> Jeez, the egos you hire gavin seriously yeah, for you man. so the math stuff done is that uh, or do, do you well, still do that or no 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 we uh i mean we have a great relationship with the mavericks and we hope to do some things over here with those guys but uh, we haven't had any of those discussions yet i mean pretty much our show is going to be all sports, but mostly Big 12. Um, we're going to close the fuck <laughs> right. And, and old Southwest um, Conference. Well, no, yeah, right. no, that's the people are already clocking. They're like, oh, my God, what do you mean all sports in well, the middays? I'm like, that's not going to be all sports in the middays. Yeah, it's, and it's, be- it's not just sports. We're real into, like, coverage schemes and things like that. So it's real nuts and bolts. Oh, like, right. Really yeah. super Lots interesting statistics. stuff. Yeah, yeah Wednesday is going to be fantasy football day, the whole show. Yeah. Um, so very excited about that. No, you know, a lot of people think that our show is going to be all sports, like you said. But uh, when we were at the ticket... Uh, it was hard to do. We weren't really supposed to do too many uh, segments that were non-sports back to back. Because it's a sports station. It's a sports yeah. station. They do other things, but it's a sports station. And and so now we have the ability to talk sports if it's worth talking about. If it's something that people are talking about, yeah, we might talk about the Cowboy game or something like that, or get into the Maverick game. But we're not here to do a sports show. We're here to do to talk about things that we want to talk about. Yeah. We like talking about sports, but we can't wait. To not have uh, some sort of regulated amount of sports to talk about. The so governor is gone. gone. The governor is so Kenneth. You're on live 105.3. I have a question for Gavin, not Jagger. Gavin, okay, Gavin. he's here. Yeah, I'll take this. Hey, uh, did you um, run out of budget? Yeah, that's, uh, that's funny. They're already taking shots, but yeah. that's that's what you expect here. That's sort of a badge of honor. Yeah, ball breaking. Respect. Yes. Yeah. Did you? Oh yeah. What was it? Was no, it a budget consideration? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. There, there's, <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind right now. Absolutely. You know, I didn't know what I was doing in Vegas. I didn't know what I was doing in Cape Cod. My whole career. Yeah. I, I can't believe I still have a job. You wake up every morning going, really? I know. Oh, I know. Again. Well, I hired you guys. Yeah, yeah you that's know? true. So, yeah. absolutely. Here's, here, here's the deal. Any show you put on, it okay? It doesn't matter, yes. It doesn't matter. People are going to tell me I suck. People are going to tell me that this show isn't going to work. All I'm going to say is give it time. Let any show, just like any TV show, Seinfeld, for example, which they were going to cancel. Right. Uh huh. You got to let it breathe. You got to let the storylines become storylines. You have to understand the bits. You have to accept it. So give any show a chance, okay? And just trust me. I mean, I these guys are talented. I've been around them. I'm super excited about you know the opportunity to work with these guys, and I think it's a great fit for this radio. Station. And they worked within your budget. That's the bottom line. <laughs> yeah. That's the chance. Times are tough, man.